Although it's a little quiet downtown today, runners are still gearing up for the big day this October. Last semester, Suffolk announced they would be canceling spring break to prevent travel and the spread of COVID-19. But some students spoke up and said that break is crucial. It was a back and forth match for the Revs as they took on NYC FC at Gillette this past weekend. Let's take a look at some of the highlights. An optimistic Ortiz ready to be back in Boston. Who can complain about that? The annual Earth Day Charles River cleanup was postponed due to COVID-19. This pandemic has shown us a lot this year. Ryan Arell talks with a medical expert on how we can deal with stress and keep our immune systems up, all while being stuck at home. With internship opportunities coming to a halt, many students say they're nervous about the impact and what it will have on their resumes and future careers. Ryan Arell has more. On this day last year, Governor Charlie Baker ordered for restaurants, public and private schools to close for what we thought would be three weeks. One year later, most students here at Suffolk University are still going to class on Zoom. While school through a screen can be tough, Suffolk senior Carolyn Nash was pleasantly surprised by her experience with full remote learning. I mean, it's been quiet, it's been calm, it's not been what I expected from my college experience in any way, shape or form, but I feel like it's made me grow up a lot. I honestly really like online school. But for a theater major like Casey Williamson, working in person is very much needed. And Suffolk has done their best to ensure some students can still meet face to face. And the professors just, the way that they, they mourn for what we used to have in the theater in, in front of us, to us, and we can mourn back for what we once had and what we want back. And then there's the class of 2020. This time last year, they left for spring break not knowing their days on campus were over. So it's surreal to think that one year ago were the last days at Suffolk for the class of 2020. I mean, it was two weeks to flatten the curve and look where we are now. There were no goodbyes, there was no graduation, there was no closure. And that's something the class of 2020 will never get back. One year ago, we thought this would all be over soon, but here we are living a new norm and trying to make it work. For Suffolk in the City, I'm Celia Balfour. Celia, graduation right around the corner. What are emotions like on campus? Oh man, the emotions are just so high right now. There's excitement in the air. Graduation just over a week away. Even the class of 2020 will be coming back to receive their diplomas, but we're not really sure how they're gonna celebrate after. As students gear up for the big day and COVID restrictions continue to be lifted, Questions arise about large private parties in the city of Boston for weeks to come. Paige Harding, a Suffolk senior and manager at Boston's North End favorite, Brico, will get a taste of both. Granted, the graduation weekends haven't, haven't gotten here yet, but from what we have had for Mother's Day this past weekend, we've had large parties, and people are really respectful and they're understanding that they're not our rules that we're enforcing, they're the city's rules. Boston restaurants are still to enforce mask mandates and a six-person table limit. Private party or not, enforcing those rules has become a unique part of their job. It's not like they're doing it on purpose, but it's also, we're a year into the pandemic now, like I think you guys should know that you need a mask when you stand up. You need to follow the basic rules. The Fenway ceremonies will maintain social distancing and masks will be required for students and their families. Some students I spoke with have the option to just go home and celebrate there. But for the people hitting the town, it's going to look a little different this year. For Suffolk in the City, I'm Celia Balfour.